What's going on? And speaking of this NBA Finals, it's one of the strangest Finals I've ever seen because Toronto could actually be a 3-0, but then if Tor- but if Golden State was all healthy, they may be a 3-0. They keep expecting Kevin Durant don't look like he's gonna pull no Willis Reed. I don't even I just don't it's, I just don't see it coming back. Not even like Charleston Blues, I don't see it coming back. Kevin and Clay Thompson come back tonight. What have I seen? Well, Toronto's outplayed them for the most part, but I still there's still this like you just know that you think Old State's gonna flip this switch and finish them off because of what happened the other night in Toronto. And it's just as great as Kawhi Leonard is, and that's a bad boy. He's bad. He's like I said, he's in the top three or four, and he's one of the only four guys I'd say that you would trade for. You give up anything. Only him, Steph Curry, Kevin Durant, and LeBron James. Everybody else, we gonna have to do some sweetening, sweeten low to get a balance. But them four guys, yeah, you make you trade anybody for them guys. I would say that without a doubt. Uh, suck, say, uh. Say come Pascal's been balling. Um, Serge Ibaka came up. Marcus Saul has been really the real surprise. He's showed that he still got it. You know, they've got guys that are coming on. But even as well as what they've done, it serious still feels like it could get tilted. You know, Steph Curry was balling the other night, number 47, and he is underrated. The greatest shooter ever and one of the greatest players ever. And you got to call him an all-time great. You know, you can put him anywhere. I'd say he would rank right now to me. He could be anywhere from uh, 14th greatest ever to 21st or something like that. Because you can make the case because when you add up his career, when it's all said and done, he stays at a level and he scores. And you look at his his resume, he's going to be in a real high, high ranking. And, you know, he really left the last in mark already. But anyway. But Draymond's got to come up big. Um, Andre Goddard came up big. And Sean Livingston doing his thing. We're going to see what happens. You know, it comes down to just what will you do? Toronto came out and played out their mind the other night. You know, uh, shooting high volume from the field, high volume from the three-point line, high volume from the free throw line, and from the three-point land. And, you know, so can they do that again? What will they give up? What will they do? But, you know, it's going to take all that against a team like Golden State. So it's, it should be very, it's compelling theater. It's a very interesting, complex series because I can't quite say I've seen a series. I've seen series where teams were hurt and the other team did their thing. But I saw it where it looked like the other team didn't have a chance. And I'm not feeling as great as Toronto's playing, and they're playing great ball. I just don't feel that they're, I just think the Golden State had, Another horse to go along with Steph. I just think it'd be a different series. If DeMarcus Cousins gets his routine, I think it's a different series. It's a very strange series, to say the least. Compelling TV. Like I said, boy, I did say this before the series, and you can look at my videos. I wouldn't be surprised if you the team won because the KD injury is huge. We will never know him at full tilt what that would have been like. We don't have that to know. So we can't say, and I'm sorry, that's just too big of an elephant in the room because he's the best player in the league, and that's too tough to say. But I will say this. If anybody could be a problem, regardless who's on that floor, it's Mr. Kawhi Leonard because that's a beast that that man got his thing. And Steph Curry's a beast too, but they, Toronto is just a little playing a little more cohesive right now. So, again, it makes for a compelling series, but I would have loved to see if they could run it back. And I'll be honest with you. If I had my way and it goes one way or the other this year, I would love to see the two teams running back because we went through the Golden State Cleveland saga chapters and it was compelling because of the big names involved, but the team situation wasn't compelling. This is a compelling series because you really have a Toronto team that can hit from the perimeter, has a bench, has versatile bigs, has a great player, because I know, I know, you know, listen, one Kawhi Leonard, it, it, you can't really with Steph and, and Kevin Durant, but he's in that same tier. So it makes for compelling theater. TV. But you let me know what you think. So far, this is how this series looks to you. And it's been very odd and weird, and they're still waiting for Kevin Durant. And, and there's so many 
so many things going on within the series and outside the series. So many lips, so many things been going on. But let me know what you think about uh, Golden State Toronto the finals thus far. Feel free to leave comments, hit the subscribe, and the bell rings. That's a new video. I'm watching that game tonight, so we'll see. Peace.